Welcome to Weld.com. Got the Cub here today. Say hi, Cub. How you guys doing? What is all? Well, we'll talk about that. Hey, later. I started this first. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I started this like a week ago. I, well, anyway, hey, we've got a request here. Uh, multiple viewer comments. We're also going to test a, a different wire that. I mean, something we haven't run before uh, brand-wise, but um, we've got to do some uh, overhead fillets with flux core, okay? Mm-hmm. 045. You in for that? Yeah. Okay. We'll do, uh, we'll do the three-pass type thing where we're running courses. We could run more uh, courses of beads in here, but again, it's that stack. You run the first one in there, All right. second one goes on bottom, third one on top. We're trying to maintain that profile. Um, I have prepped some plates for you here. The top plate is slightly longer. I've tacked over here. I didn't do anything in the in the center of the weld area, so you should be able to start, bump into this tack right here, come out to the end and not blow it up. Or Actually, you're right-handed. You'll be welding this way. Okay, so first question is, do we push or pull? Uh, you drag. Okay, if it's got slag, you drag. You drag. Always. Okay. What Good angles? Thought. What angles do we run on that drag? Well, you know that's a that's a consideration. Uh, a lot of people think you really got to add a whole bunch of angle. You're going to be welding this direction toward me, mm -hmm. right? You're right-handed, so you want to point it back. I kind of like. You know, this is straight in. I kind of like this 10 degree back just a little bit. You can see where you're going. You can see your finished weld pool in front of you. All right. Make sense? Yeah, but what is this, your transverse angle? About the transverse angle going this way. The wire angle into the joint, you mean, this way? Yeah. Oh, I would treat it at a 45 into this. 45? Gotcha. Yeah. So we're going to be running 045 Select Dark 730 carbon steel wire. It's designed to run mixed gas, so we're running 75, 25, about 25 cubic feet per hour. Um, what do you like for settings here? Do your settings, do you, do you change stuff up, whether you're going overhead, vertical, horizontal, horizontal in a groove? Yeah, I change stuff up from vertical. Dropping what, yeah, I volts drop, and uh, wire speed? Or I, just? I, I turn wire speed up more and volts a little bit down more. Personally, I just tend to drop a half a volt or a volt and leave the wire alone leave the myself. Wire yeah. Right. One thing that is critical, I think anyway, uh, this wire should be really forgiving and it should run exceptionally well, but keep in mind electrical stick out. Flux cores like a little longer stick out than what we normally run on gas metal arc welding short circuit or globular. Okay. What's that stick out? I like to keep mine five eighths to three quarters. Five eighths. Good three, three quarters. quarters. Right. You know what's the worst thing that can happen? The piping, Pipe piping porosity, volt sensitive hole. wires leave those little tracks in the face of the weld bead, and that's annoying, really. But all right, what happens if we're too close? What's going to cause that? Same thing. You can actually get wormhole by running your nozzle up real close, real short. Gotcha. Shouldn't, but again, you know, just. Uh, Let's keep that out there about five eighths or so. All right. See what happens. We're not trying to run anything exceptionally huge. You know, the face of your weld should be what about five six tenths. The thickness of the plate, wide. a little bit bigger than the thickness of the plate. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the face of the weld. How you oh. judge your the size of your bead. Size of your bead. So I mean, you, we don't want to strike sure. it. We don't, we don't want to run too small of a bead on the first one and then try to stack two great big beads in there. You get overlap. We just want to run them all pretty much normal, same size and everything. So you run five sixteenths, you were saying? First bead, yeah, second, I would. And third? Just to see how it goes. Again, this is going to have uh, slag around the weld pool. You're not going to be able to see real sharp lines of where your pool is. You'll see the edges quite well, but you won't see the back of it. It's like right. pouring butter up in here. You'll be all right. Cool. You'll be all right. All right. Cool. We going, to, we going to cool this down after each pass? We can. Yep. Right. We can. We've got a coupon cooler over there that I built for you. Yeah, it rolls around pretty good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. All right. All right, let's do this. Out there, young man. I've got you set up at uh, 26.5 volts and 450 on the wire feed speed. You got my gas turned on? I do this time, yeah. You can go All ahead right. and pull that trigger and check it if you want. I'm going to do a little dry run, make sure I get this in one. 
comfortable All right. While, uh, wait a minute, time out. While you're doing the dry run, you're sitting here changing your gun angle, wire angle. All right, how can and I you get need more? To, if you start out maintaining the 10 degrees right here, then you need to maintain the 10 degrees all the way across. When you come over here, come to this edge right here and pull it back through slightly. Pull it back through. Worst thing you can do is come out here and stop, leave a big old crater and blow this corner up and undercut. All right, I'm bad at doing okay. that. Yeah. 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 All so, right. you know, when you when, bring the weld all the way out, when you come over here to the edge, don't increase your speed like, oh, I'm going to jump over there. Just, Just come out here there. and then pull it back through about all right. three eighths to a half of an inch. But try to maintain the Ten. same wire angle all the way through. Yeah. And you're changing it again. It's hard. It's going to take practice. If I could stop halfway, restart. No, nah. we don't want to do that. It's just right. a, just not even sure. Hey, right. you, you know, you don't have to. Can you can you use the bottom of this plate to glide along? Oh yeah, that's that's well, perfect. What's wrong with that? Get comfy there. All right, bombs away. Man, that's why it runs good. I already can tell. fell off in one piece on the floor. I don't have to do much. I was gonna be your I was gonna be your boy over here and take care of your weld and clean it up for you. So yeah, we love that. Uh, very little spatter. I think this wire runs extremely smooth. Oh yeah I just noticed that. Yeah wow. It looked like you it looked like you changed your angle and slowed down over here was that? while I was watching you, but it doesn't show that way in the weld. So you know if you want to say the wire's forgiving, there you go. That's uh, part of it. But, I thought the weld profile, it varies a little bit. It's a little bit wider here. I still like, you know, coming out. A little bit you more. pulled it back here and then you went back toward the edge of Don't the plate do that. again. I wouldn't. Oh, okay. You know, now we're now we're building up a little bit. The main thing is, I mean, you're okay. You didn't blow up the corner. That That's what time. we don't want. All right. Okay. You could always come in here and reach in here and touch that with a grinder. But, you know, now we have a good spot to end on because the next weld that we run, we're going to run at the toe of the weld on bottom. Okay, and we're going to blend this together. We're going to come across. When you get here, do the same thing. All right. Pull it in. When you start, it's like you can start right here, bring it out, and then we'll kind of wash through it a little bit. It'll make this wrap. It'll make the corners wrap. All right. Start about a quarter inch ahead of this corner right yeah. here. Yeah. When you pull the trigger, you move. You pull the trigger, you initiate the arc, go to the corner, wrap it around, and then commence your run. Gotcha. Okay. You're only welding through a little bit of weld pool, and it's gonna, it'll be all right. Oh, oh. I'm always scared, like, you know I mean, a trap slag inside there. I don't, I've not seen that, not in wire welding, not in structural welding. I was trying it. Well, so that's what I'm saying. You, when you get out there, you gotta be you, fast. You gotta be a little quicker. Yeah, yeah. that's we're, we're talking 26 and a half volts. You got you're depositing some material. 
Put your gun back up there and show me where your angle was. And you I know, out. I started pushing it. And I, that's not what I said. Take your gun <laughs> and put, put yourself in the same position. I want you to see this. I got to cut my wire first. I was like yeah, right here. More than that. I, I was like right here. And it looked like you were like over here. And that's a push angle just the opposite of what the 10 degrees over here. Wow. Hey, the wire's forgiving. You got 20 degrees you're playing around with here and you're still making an Still making an okay well. Look, the flag was already dropped off. Nodular deposit over here. Nothing but a uh, grinder can fix. Who wants to grind? Not me. I don't either. I'm too slow right here too. If you look down through here, your profile is okay. You can kind of see a an arc in your bead, yeah. meaning you're slow to start. Maybe faster. Yeah. I mean, if you were doing if you were doing the entire run, not to get critical, but. You know, the center of that's got a little shoulder to it, but... You need to move faster? Well, think about it. Sag and move faster or let it cool down on one of them two options. Fast, accurate start. Fast, it's like accurate. stick welding. you got to be accurate with stick, right? Yeah. You put it in there, initiate the arc, set it in there and go. Same thing. Pull the trigger, make a move, come out. All right. When you come out here at the end, just wrap it. Pull it back through. All right. But you, need, you can't... You can't sit here for two or three seconds. And lollygag in my Otherwise, head. Otherwise, you're going to be reaching for a grinder. Like right now? You are, not me. <laughs> hey, I'm going to fix I'll that. I'll hand it to you, but... I'm going to fix that, all right? All right. Slag, old bud. Thanks. Reached up here and you ground this finish a lot quicker. What did you learn over here? I mean, learned about the start. Uh, yeah, the start I mean, you don't whip it around, but you fast. pull the trigger and you move. You just, just do it because you can't wait around. Again, you're, you're, you're laying down material when you pull the trigger. 045 wire and 26 and a half volts. We're not playing. Yeah, I could tell. Okay. There's no mess around. Get so, it and get out. A uh, nice little wrap there. See, if you started doing that on every pass, what would you end up with? Nice consecutive start and finishes. Right. And then... Uh, if, you, if you have to make super long runs and you've got to stop and adjust, move your machine, or you've got to do something, get comfortable, always try to stagger your starts. Also, or yeah. Lay them in at an angle or something. So you, they, they just look nicer when you do that, especially yeah. in horizontal runs, multiple... Multiple stringer, build up fillet welds and all that, so. Gotcha. All right, nice run. I hope this answered the, the viewer's comments. You know, we can take this. I'm real certain we can take these settings and run multiple stringers in grooves, mm -hmm. right? So the wire's gonna stick up underneath there. It's gonna stay there. It looks funny, doesn't it? Cause you can't see your weld pool. Yeah. You just gotta trust it. Cause this wire has that slag around there, but it's, if you stay in the weld pool, and don't flinch, it'll stay there. It seems like some people get to manipulating it or they jump forward or something, it gets narrow, sags, peaked. But if you just leave it in there, and it'll, I mean, look at this profile right here. Nice, consistent bead width, good good stack. So You just want to stay consistent and stay straight. No whipping, no side-to-side -side pause. There's no need for it. All right. Just, just to, I do a slight TikTok, because that's how I got to move, just to, just a move, but gotcha. it's slight, and and it doesn't matter because this doesn't have the ripple pattern to it. You're not going to see it anyway, so All right, you might see it in the edges anyway. I hope this satisfied the viewer. I certainly learned a lot from you. Your starts what, and stops. What not man. to do? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Brought I'm not back some good that. memories, huh? From when you started. Just get those starts and stops down. You know, pull the trigger and move. Wrap the corners when you come out here at the end. Don't lollygag around. Just pull it out, get it done, and don't leave a big old button on there. 
All right. Hope you found this educational. Thanks for watching our channel and supporting our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank the Man Cub. Thank you. Appreciate it all. Yep, yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm no big cookie. I get close now, man. What am I stepping into over here? You fart. You farted, didn't you? Oh, God. <laughs> well, before you start, why don't you cut your wire off one more time? I was just joking. <laughs> I, know, I had to take you to the next step, bro. Oh, my goodness <laughs> sake. Are you serious with that? You cut that five and a half times? Six, oh, man, that's perfect. What is perfect? I, I know, it's perfect. So you're reaching for your, why? <laughs> <laughs> Cub, let's get some work done here.